back. 20 to 2. Bashing this uh, bleeding camera at the moment, aren't I? So I'm just leaving Woodhouse. I've been to do an arrangement and I've been and may, met Fred's family. Absolute, utterly diamond. A generation, Fred's, who's leaving us, coppers, and there won't be another. Oh, I've got to tell you something all later. Cheers, mate. Uh, I've got to tell you something. He didn't want coppers near him, so he's let me out. They've gone down there anyway. I'll tell you something about that lot later. Uh, in another rant so this morning talking to uh, my motoring manager Dave Dave suffers with his mental health as well uh, my works for me so he's going to do it I know that's what you were all thinking so anyway having a chat we always have a chat in the morning get together discuss things can we improve things is how we can do for the better uh, just see how we both are and how things is going during our chat this morning, it was brought to my attention because Cheryl spilt the beans. Because uh, I weren't looking my best this morning. A bit of a headache. Uh, felt a bit woozy. Uh, woozy, that's a strange thing. Anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. Cheryl spilt beans that I'd uh, had some Baileys last night. About four glasses big glasses of Baileys <laughs> nearly a bottle actually uh, that she bought for Christmas but I'd found it I'm like a kid if I find something I've got to have it uh, anyway I found this Baileys that she bought for Christmas for us and I said oh let's have it let's have it I'll get another bottle I'll get another bottle so anyway I got my own way but I'd never did with clicker not till Christmas then Dave says Oh, I've never tasted it, what's it like? I says, shut up, nutter. That's never had Baileys. No, no, I've never ever tasted it. So on my way round today, I've just called in shop. And I've got, good job coppers aren't near me, bottle of Baileys, see? So I'm gonna take that back to the funeral home for Dave, my mortuary manager, only a tenner. Uh, and let him try it, Bailey's. He'll love it. I know he will. So that's my favourite drink. I love white wine. I don't like Sauvignon Blanc. I can't stand it. I like Chardonnay. And I like wine from the devil's cellar. Uh, I absolutely love white wine. Uh, I don't mind red wine, but it's a bit heavy going for me. Uh, I don't like drinking too much red wine and it's horrible you know because when you're sick it's all red and all uh, can't have none of that but I thought I'll get Dave Buckler Bailey's and get a try see what he thinks this weekend because we are that team of mine I couldn't do what I do people always praise me but realistically it's not me I'm face of company uh, I'm the one who they talk, Michael Fogg, it's just my name above it, so any shit, I always think I cop, that's how it is, uh, and running a company is not easy, I've got 11 people, uh, so that's 11 wages that I have to pay out every week, uh, but we are that team, seriously, I won't be able to do this at all they're just amazing and it's nice to give them a treat every now and again like we buy them the dinner and stuff like that it's just nice it's just it's what you do innit none of them work for us I, I say we employ 11 people in actual fight they're all like family you know what I mean they're all just lovely so and we try to look after them best way we can it's just what you do in it so thought I'd put that on in fact when we get when I get to care center I might take my camera in and actually show you a picture of David having a drink of Bailey's you can have a little nip because uh, a nip doesn't hurt does he you know what I mean in, in day. So, and it's a long time before he goes home anyway so that's all right you can have a little a small glass of baileys so that'll be nice 
Anyway, back to that diploma. I mentioned diploma. I'll just go on for this for a minute. People say, oh, you've got to have a diploma. No, you ain't got to have a diploma. Idiots that's got a diploma say you've got to have a diploma. Right, it's like this, a diploma. You can do a diploma with NAFD in, I don't know, 1998, and you don't have to do it again. That's it, you've done it. But laws change every year in fuel industry. Everything changes. So it's, I'm back on the floor. So it's, uh, you don't have to like retrain or out like that. Laws on burials, depths and things like that all change. Cremation laws change. Size of coffins that you can use for cremation. Everything changes. But in your diploma, once you've done it, you've done it. So, I think it's a bit like this. Don't make you any better. It just means that you've sat an exam. Uh, done modules about funerals, which everybody knows anyway, because they do funerals crazy another thing is i've got a driving license don't mean i can drive it just means that for about 20 minutes on one particular day i passed an exam i, I went round with a driving so i could drive you come out of there two days later be on your phone or be looking for something down your foot well and you know do you know what i mean show you don't mean you're a good driver just because you got a license don't mean you're a good funeral director because you got a diploma so and being a funeral director a lot of them say i've been a funeral director for 38 years i am being a funeral director for 38 <laughs> years i've been a funeral director like restaurant for 17 years it's the person who owns the company. I was a funeral director at Eric Ayres. No, you weren't a funeral director at Eric Ayres or at the co-op. What you was is an, uh, either an arranger or a conductor. Eric Ayres what funeral director there. It's like Keaton's, Paul Keaton and Joanne Keaton. They're funeral directors, they own the business. Uh, you're independent as I'm talking about you're decent companies so the person who owns the company is the funeral director at the co-op there ain't no funeral directors they might call themselves funeral directors they're not called funeral directors they're, not. They, they're just conductors, arrangers, driver bearers that's it same at Dignity they don't have funeral they have funeral operatives actually I'm back at the care centre in fact. What I'll do is let me just do this. You're gonna have to prove me because I'm gonna walk in with camera because they don't know I'm taking my camera in. So you'll see. Get this. I'll take the buckle and turn this off. Not very good with that. I sometimes forget to turn it off. And many a time I'll leave a lot K in it. Right arse has some funeral day. Should see what some of them run around in this shit. That's my car, look. It's not bad, is it? That's my premises. There we go. I'm going to turn off in a bit. I'm just going to go in and show them this. Watch this. Hey, I'm back. That's our Sid. Come to greet me. Hey, up, Sid. Daddy's here. That's Dawn Emingham. <laughs> oh my wife! Look what I've brought for your David. Mm. What's David Emmingham never had? Baileys. He's never had Baileys. Says he hasn't. Don't he? That's his wife. Don't he say he has? No, he hasn't. No, I, 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 if he had it before I even met him, but I've never even mentioned Baileys. Not why you know me. Never had Baileys until now. So I'm going to turn you all off, I'm going to cut you all loose, press subscribe, keep liking what I do and say, uh, following an undertaker, I'm going to go and get David Emmingham and then we'll put him on Facebook, uh, on this camera, having his Baileys. I'll catch you all in 10 minutes or so. Ta-ra everybody.